Hey, what's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Uh, this is gonna be a short one. Uh, two days ago, uh, Josh and I was in this very room talking about uh, how the market had a good day. Um, uh, one of the things that I said earlier, and uh, those of you that know, that this has historically been the worst trading week of the year. Well, it has proven itself to be true. As you know, two days ago, the market was green, but in the last two days, it being Friday, the market has given back all of the gains. Should I say it's taken it back? It gave us a green day and it's taken everything back. This is gonna be a volatile market. It is. Uh, we know what's going on with the UK uh, and, and, and it's starting to stable, stabilize. We know that uh, there's two things that I'm looking at and um, that I'm noticing. Number one, actually crypto is kind of ahead of the market. This is what I think. Crypto is, is actually almost like a leading indicator. And I believe crypto is ahead of the stock market. But then you have a stable stock like Apple. And to a degree, Apple was holding up the entire stock market, right? Apple was steady and now Apple has been slipping. Uh, you know, they've been talking about a pullback on production, uh, supply chains, uh, problems and all of this has just been a cancer to most major companies, especially big tech that have been holding the stock market up. These were the last things that's been holding a volatile stock market up. But um, like I forestated, this was going to be an extremely volatile uh, week, right? And then we getting data uh, now about jobs. And you know, if jobs, uh, unemployment stays low and we get any reports that unemployment is still low, that gives the Fed more runway to raise interest rates at a more aggressive hike. I believe it was either 6.3 or 6.5 that a 30 year fixed mortgage is. Somebody leave me a comment. I believe it's 6.5. So a 30 year uh, fixed mortgage now is 6.5 when you could have gotten 2.5 to 2.7 uh, just two, two years ago. And that's insane. So the housing market is, is ridiculously expensive. To purchase the house, the VIG or the juice that you have to pay to buy a house right now, we know that that's not going to stay forever. Um, I believe that in 2023, 20, uh, that the Fed will start to flatten or be neutral in his rate hikes. And I believe in 2024, he will start to reverse his rate. Uh, uh, he will start to reduce the, the interest rate. That's what I believe right now. But he's been extremely hawkish and the biggest threat to the stock market remains the Fed, the Fed, the Fed. So I talked about housing and I talked about jobs because those are the last two things that have been holding, just, just envision a stock market hanging on a cliff by, by its fingernails. And you only have two more fingers left. That was the housing market and, and um, um, what did I say? Housing, I'm um, sorry, somebody slammed the door and I was like, please don't come in, I'm shooting this video, <laughs> all right? And, uh, and jobs. So that's what we're looking at and we gotta keep an eye on uh, and remember, you're going to hear people talking about how low the market is going, right? Especially the S&P. We've been keeping our eyes and ears on the S&P 500. Um, you know, some say 35. You can go back pre-COVID. Now, I, here's what I want you guys to do. For those of you that saw my video that talked about the S&P 500, some people think that if you go to the top of the S&P, where it was around 35 or 3480 ish or 3500, I'm sorry, yeah, 3500, um, do you think it's going to return to where it was uh, 
pre-COVID or do you think it's going to drop below or should I say down to the bottom of COVID? What I mean by that is there's a lot of different reports by a lot of analysts. Some people think we're going to 35. Some people think we're going to 3,200-ish on the S&P 500. I do know this. I will be buying at 32 if it does drop to 32. Uh, and I'm just speaking for the remainder of this year. Now, in the hard recession, I think it's going to go, it's going to blow well beneath 35. That's what I think in the hard recession. But what we need to do short term is see if the stock market will have a bear market bounce by the end of fourth quarter. Right, this is the end of, of third quarter and, and it's not looking good, but it's expected. Remember, traditionally, this is the worst. All right. When in doubt, zoom out. Look at how uh, uh, these cycles work and you will it will help you to be a better trader. But there's a possibility for a good bear market bounce at the end of fourth quarter going leading into what's historically known as the Christmas rally, right? And so let's gauge that for our swing trades, for whatever plays or positions you guys are in, but we still gonna remain cash. So we are ready for the hard recession because we're already in a recession that will likely happen in 2023. So we can look at charts. Josh, Josh and I talk about charts all of the time. And I, we can look at charts and we can look at levels of support and um, and we can see if they're breaking below those levels. And I do believe that all of the levels that are currently uh, that we're looking at on the S&P, that when the hard recession comes, we will break below those levels. Now, trying to time the market, good luck with that. You have to say Hey, Larry, at 3420 is where I see that I should start buying. Some of you may say at 3200 is where I'm going to start buying. Some of you may say, hey, I'm already buying. But what I will tell you that is you better have a five to 10 year uh, forecast with your trading. And right now, I'm going to remove the word trading and start using the word investing. Now's the time to be investing in the stock market, right? So I'm not going heavy. I didn't buy anything today. Uh, it's Friday. You guys know how I feel about Friday sell-offs, okay? And um, so, but my dollar cost average, my $5 a day, which is mine is $10 a day, th those I buy, you guys know, Friday last half hour, okay? So I'm gonna keep that consistent. But more importantly, I am cashing up and I'm cashing up uh, with Mumu. That's in the link below, right? Guys, we have to stay focused, right? Remember, anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold or sell. And please don't fall for spam in the comments section. I just want to give you guys as much information as I can. I don't want to talk about any stock in particular or anything like that. We just have to know where we are in this trading cycle and zoom out and look at the overall picture. One of the things that does worry me and concern me, you have a stock like Apple that is slowly giving up, right? And when people start to pull out of a company like Apple, a mega tech company like Apple, that is more concerning than anything for me. The good thing about that is, is that I'm mostly cash and I'm going to remain that until further notice. But I will let the family know. All right, good people. So we're leaving this uh, vid summit today and I'll be back on the plane, be back in my studio Monday morning. Like I said before, you guys are not just a number to me. You guys are people. This is your hard -earned, earned money. And I'm doing and will continue to do everything I can to keep the family fed. Make sure you click both those links below and I will see you uh, maybe this weekend or maybe Monday morning. Hey, good people. Live, love, laugh and learn. Love you guys.